Hi, I'm Lasse and um, I'm back here on YouTube with uh, tips and tricks about metal shaping. And uh, in this little video clips, we, I'm going to show you a little trick how to make it a little easier for you in the bead roller to make a straight line. Hey, I'm working on to, to make a, a new pedal car. So this is one, uh, the right side of the pedal car. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to run a straight bead here. That's the top, the belt line on the, on the small pedal car. And because this is already pre-cut for the, the rest of the shape of the, the pedal car, I don't have a guide to put this edge to. So here is where one of my students many years ago came up with a solution in one of my classes. And uh, I'm going to explain what, we, what he came up with and how we can use that. And it's a great tip and you can use it for any type of bead roller that you have out there. You can just duplicate the same setup and it's very simple. So if, you, if I'm going to follow that line here with just the dies and follow that line, it's really easy to get off track and so it's not going to be straight. So one of my students many years ago, he came up with an idea that if we, if we bend a wire and that is grinded to point, we can move that point out like that, maybe eight, 10 inches out from the center of the shaft. And if we run this piece here, we're going to follow that line there. And if we move it just a little bit, it doesn't move anything here over where the dies goes. So that means that the bead going to be straight. The thing here is to set this up and I hold a ruler to the side of the bead roller dies and set that point uh, on the ruler there. And I can bend this, I can turn it, you know, and I, until I have it right there, so it's, it's you know, on the center point there. This really helps to make a straight line. So that's what I'm going to show you now. And this is so good as a, to be a teacher because my students, they teaching me a lot of stuff that I never thought about. So I can learn five times faster than if, I'm, if I do everything by myself. So watch out now when we're going to run this bead. So I turn the dice all the way together until it's touching there. And then I turn it up one, two, three turns, okay? Now I can put the sheet metal in there. And I can turn this down. So that was one, one. So I think I'm, I'm there now. What I can do here now is I'm going to just start a little bit there to see so I'm, I'm all the way down with the first. Yeah, so there I have a good start as you can see. I'm going to turn down the speed a little so so it doesn't go too fast for me. So all, I've, all of what I'm focused on now is that point there. I'm going to run it to the blue mark here because on, on, I'm going to stop with the die here. So the point probably going to be down here somewhere. And then I need to do this by free hand. So if you pay attention there to the It's a very, very small movements there now. So here now I'm going into the curve with a point and I don't want that. So now I need to just go straight here until I have that blue mark in the center of, of that, of the die. So now I can one, two and three. And then I jump over to that part there and turn this down again. So that was one, that was two, and here is three. 
Okay, now I actually don't need that point anymore. So I, I let it be there, I could remove it too, so. So make a, make a smooth curve so you have an even radius there. And then I can just go out here like that. So that's what it looks like. And if you look long ways there now on the front B there, you can see that that one is straight. And that would be very difficult if, if I did it just follow the line. So that was the tips and tricks for today. If you want more information, you can go to www.lazymetalshaping.com. Thank you very much.